I think there is a misperception in the public that we only use it to prosecute, to catch criminals and to prosecute people. But it's equally as important, if not more important, that we have this quick turnaround capability with rapid DNA to exonerate somebody. The last thing that we want here in law enforcement is to lock somebody up that doesn't deserve to be locked up. And with a very, very short, as short as 90 minute turnaround, we can make sure that even when somebody's a suspect, that they don't automatically become a defendant when we can clear that person with rapid DNA. We've gone from 30 days to 90 minutes using rapid hit ID. It's an invaluable tool. We've had a, a major case where we use this, the rapid hit ID, to exonerate someone who was in prison already. So the case was a, a, a female a woman who was in her 80s. Somebody came into her room in the middle of the night and sexually assaulted her. When we talked to her, she's like, I know this person, he's a friend of the family, he came in, he was consoling me because my husband died a couple weeks earlier, he had a cup of coffee with me, and then he walked me into the bedroom and sexually assaulted me. I mean, for us as detectives and police officers, you can't get a case better than that. When you have a victim saying, I know the person, I've known them for a while, and this is his name, and this is what he did to me. We get a warrant, we arrest him, we put him in prison. Well, what we did was we sent the rape kit out for a, um, a quick turnaround. We got a DNA sample from the swabbing of the victim, uh, from sperm sample, and we got a reference sample from the man we arrested and put in prison. Well, when we ran his reference sample in the rapid hit ID, his DNA did not match the swab that was taken from the victim. So we immediately contacted the district attorney's office, advised them that this is not the person who committed this crime. They immediately withdrew the criminal complaint and got him out of prison. So this is such an important case for us. And I think everybody has to understand once again, we don't just want to put people in prison willy-nilly for no reason. We want to put the right people in prison.